can be of the republic than to teach and instruct our youth. Indeed, the management and staff today relish this profound reality that all Saint students are spread all over the world as worthy citizens of this global community. A reality that gives us all a great sense of joy and contentment. Dear teachers and my dear students, it was on 31st December 2005 that Reverend Brother John was elected as Assistant General to the Central Administration of Montfort Pradesh Society. And 13th April 2012 was a red letter day when Brother John had a rare distinction and honor of being elected as Superior General of the Global Community of Montfort Brothers, thereby creating a new history in the annals of God. St. Gabriel as the first Asian and first Indian Superior General of Brothers. Today, Today, the brothers and staff and students On behalf of the management, Reverend Brother Chandra will bring a shot. And Reverend Brother Anthony will present a bouquet. A congratulatory note to Reverend John Keller Pelleschi, Superior General, Monster Brothers of St. Gabriel. We are very proud of our achievement. We really have tries to follow the footsteps of our perfect creation wherever he goes. A true Montfortian, calling the younger generations to greater heights of commitment. Please, my dear, I will tell you the same thing you have reached. We indeed are proud of our success. We share the part of the glorious life because we are Indians like you and my devotees like today. An Indian don the sanctuary and the crown of leadership at the highest level, which no Indian before could wear. Thank the brothers, the teachers for organizing this uh, 
special assembly in honor of me and the provincial. My sincere thanks to the rector for his uh, kind words of introduction. My special thanks to Mr. Francis, Mrs. Martina, Mrs. Naresh, and uh, Ms. Tejasvi for their uh, flowery, poetic, and flattering uh, uh, felicitation. Uh, my congratulations to all the uh, students who came up to the stage for the prayer song, for the prayer, for uh, the song, and the beautiful uh, dance. My special congrats to the announcers. And my congrats to all of you. As I said, you have been sitting in a very disciplined manner despite the weather. I must also congratulate all the students for being part of this beautiful institution, All Saints High School, being a part of the rich history of this uh, great institution. I still have uh, vivid recollections of the rich heritage of All Saints High School. I'm fully aware of the contributions that the proud alumni have been making to the growth and development of all things as well as contributions they have been making for the transformation of the society. My presence here is also an indication to you that besides being proud members of this beautiful family, we are also members of a large Montfortin family which has a long history of uh, 300 years of educational service which has its branches in as many as 33 countries. Wherever the Montfort brothers and St. Gabriel are, whether they are in Asia or Africa, whether they are in Europe or the Americas, we the Montfort brothers and St. Gabriel and all our valued collaborators have the same belief system, have the same goals for our educational mission. We believe in the inherent goodness of children. We believe that if the children of today are given ample opportunities, if they are provided with the need and encouragement and uh, support, they can grow up into self-confident, self-reliant, full-functioning, responsible citizens of the country. And our one goal in our educational mission is to train our boys and girls to become men and women of competence, men and women of conscience, men and women of character who will commit themselves to the service of their fellow brothers and sisters. So if I can give you a piece of advice today, it is to ask you to make the best use of the opportunities you receive in the school here and become the best possible persons you can be. I always believe that school is the best training ground for you to discover, identify your God-given talents and develop them to the full potential. And friends, believe me, your tomorrow depends upon your today. Your tomorrow depends upon how well you make use of the opportunities you receive in the school here. So please make use of the opportunities. Secondly, if you step into the job market tomorrow, you will discover that only 20% of the wages is being given to your hard skills, the certificates, the diplomas, and your degrees. As much as 80% of the wages will be given to your soft skills, namely interpersonal relationship skills and communication skills. So please make use of the opportunities in order to develop the social skills of getting along with others, sharing with others, caring for others, loving others, forgiving others, 
and asking for forgiveness because your success in life will depend upon how well you are able to relate with people. To relate with people at home, relate with people in the school, relate with people in the society. And finally, communication skills, there is no shortcut to developing communication skills. You need to read, read and read. As Francis Bacon said, reading makes a full man, conference makes a ready man and writing makes an exciting man. So please keep these things in mind. Study well, make use of the opportunities you get today because opportunity never knocks at the same door twice. Second, please develop social skills, getting along with others. As Swami Vivekananda beautifully put it, it's a wonder how people can call God their father in prayer but cannot treat his children as their brothers and sisters. Thirdly, develop communication skills. If your brothers, if your teachers are insisting upon the rule of language, it is to help you gain proficiency in the language and to um, help you improve your communication skills.